Hey guys, it's Chris. From black coffins to secret finds in the pyramids and more, join me as I show you nine of the most mysterious discoveries in Egypt. Number nine, Oxyrhynchus papyri. From the year 1896 to 1907, archaeologists Bernard Grenfell and Arthur Hunt discovered over 500,000 papyri fragments, dating back around 1,800 years. They were found in ruins of a southern Egyptian town that was known for having great success and prosperity during the time when Rome actually controlled Europe. The reason that all of these mini-scrolls, if you will, were able to survive was because of the fact that this area, known as Oxyrhynchus, had very arid weather conditions. It's wet conditions that can cause wither and decay to happen for things like scrolls and paper. But in dry conditions, if preserved the right way like these papyri were, they can last for a really long time in this case almost 2,000 years. As for what was on the scrolls, only some of them have been deciphered. Christian gospels, magical spells, and even a contract to fix a wrestling match were on some of the scrolls, and the rest honestly haven't been translated. And thus, we can't know fully what exactly is going on with them, though it does raise many questions, including why there were so many of these fragments in that one area, why they were covering a menagerie of topics, and whether we're going to be able to fully understand all that they're saying. Number 8. Valley of the Golden Mummies one of the reasons that Egypt is held in such high regard in terms of archaeological discovery is the numerous necropolis and burial sites that are scattered around the country. But in 1996, Zahi Hawass and his Egyptian team found something that was well beyond their expectations. They found a burial site in Baharia Oasis in the western desert of Egypt that had over 200 mummies in it. Then, as time went on, it was revealed that this singular site had over 10,000 mummies in it. The mummies were dated back to the period of Greco-Roman in history and what's more, they were decorated in various styles. The first style, which was found on approximately 60 mummies, had a gilded mask covering the face and a gilded waistcoat depicting different scenes of gods and goddesses across the chest. The second style is covered with cartonage depicting scenes of gods such as Anubis, the god of mummification, and his four children. The third style was not decorated with gold or cartonage, but rather was placed inside an anthropod, a pottery coffin. The fourth style was covered in linen. The true wonder and mystery of this place is not just the numbers, it's the social classes of the burial site. There are people from virtually every class here, and that's very different from many burial sites around Egypt. The place is known as the Valley of the Golden Mummies due to many of them having gilded masks on the remains. Number 7. Osiris Statue the gods of Egypt were a key part of the culture of the nation, not unlike many cultures of the ancient and even modern worlds. For Egypt, Osiris was the main god of their pantheon and was used as a focus of many paintings and statues, such as when in 2008 a statue was found inside of a pyramid. However, the discovery of the statue was very much an accident as this was discovered while restoration work was being done on the Dozier Step Pyramid in Saqqara. They were working on the pyramid by removing some debris when they looked inside a hole and found the statue itself. The measurements of the statue had it being over two feet tall, and it was very well detailed, including showing Osiris having a scepter in one hand and a feather in the other. As for how it got into the hole it was found in, Egyptian officials believe that it was put there by a priest to both symbolize how Osiris is the god of resurrection in many ways, as well as to keep the statue safe from those who might try and pilfer it. Though obviously one cannot prove that since it's impossible to know who put it there. However, it does raise a unique question. If this statue was found in a hole in the pyramid, could other statues be hidden in other pyramids that we know about? And now for number 6. But first, I wanted to say a quick thank you to all of our subscribers. We couldn't do this without you. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe before you leave for more videos like these. Number 6. Black Granite Sarcophagus Finding a sarcophagus in Egypt is nothing new. However, in 2008, a very curious kind of sarcophagus was found in Alexandria. What set this one apart was that unlike most burial sarcophagus associated with Egypt, this one was pure black granite and had no markings on it that would indicate who or what was inside. The item was found during routine excavation of a building in Alexandria, and it caused quite a stir due to the ominous-looking nature of the item. 
Many people even felt it might be cursed due to its jet black coloring. Just as interesting though was that it was buried 16 feet below ground, and it wasn't alone in the spot it was found. A few weeks after its finding, archaeologists from Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities opened the sarcophagus, and they found three bodies inside, one male and two women. While this did answer one question, it did raise many more including why these three were in the coffin, why they were put into such a coffin, and why they were buried so deep. Was this some kind of punishment for the three? Why were they in a coffin of this type? And the answers have yet to be found. Number 5. Hole in the Pyramid of Giza When you talk about the famed Pyramid of Giza, there are plenty of mysteries about it that can't be explained, including the full details of how the ancient Egyptians were able to build it so perfectly, and then do it again two more times. However, in 2017, an even grander mystery was revealed, as scans of the Pyramid of Khufu revealed that there was a void within the pyramid that no one has ever detected before. We don't know whether this big void is horizontal or inclined. We don't know if this void is made up by one structure or several successive structures, explained Mehdi Taoubi from the HIP Institute in Paris. What we are sure about is that this big void is there that it's impressive, and that it was not expected as far as I know by any sort of theory. As for how this discovery was made, it was via a collaboration between French and Japanese scientists, using a special technique to suss out the changes in density of large rock structures like the pyramids. Despite no one really knowing what the void is, there are many theories being thrown out and the team behind the research and the finds are being careful not to give false impressions as to what it may or may not be, such as saying it's a chamber when right now they really can't confirm that. A big potential theory is that these voids, of which there are at least two, are tied into the construction of the pyramid in the grander sense, meaning that these cavities were built to help relieve the stress of the building itself. But until more analysis is done, it's impossible to know for sure. Number 4. Unfinished Obelisk An unfinished obelisk was found in Aswan in Egypt, and it's clear that the Egyptians were working on it when they suddenly decided to stop. Should they have finished the endeavor, this would have been the biggest obelisk that had ever been made by them. Yet they didn't, but that hasn't stopped archaeologists and Egyptologists from studying this unfinished obelisk in order to learn more about the ancient Egyptians' building process. The obelisks themselves were carved from a single piece of stone and they were named in order to reference how they pierced the sky. In the context of the Aswan obelisks, they were built from bedrock and then moved out of the quarries they were in, moved towards the Nile River, ferried to their final resting places, brought to their full height by more workers. Heading back to the unfinished obelisk, when it was first discovered, many thought that it was actually a monument that had fallen over at some point. But then after it was fully revealed, it was discovered that there were cracks in the large granite stone. So the workers likely abandoned it rather than risk damaging it more. Then again, there's no proof that these cracks are as old as the obelisk itself. Number 3. Queen Hatshepsut's Mummy If you were to go and list some of the great female leaders of Egypt, you likely would have only mentioned Cleopatra given her prominence in history. But you would be wrong in thinking that she was the only female leader of Egypt, or even the first. That honor went to Queen Hatshepsut, who reigned until her death in 1458 BC. So why don't we know about her? Simple. Her stepson Thutmose III tried to erase all mention of her from history. It wasn't until the 19th century that she was found via decoded hieroglyphics in Luxor. At first, she was believed to be in the Valley of Kings. But in 1903, a set of coffins in a temple were found. One was identified as her wet nurse, and the other was the queen herself. So why did her stepson try to rewrite history? Why was she buried alongside her wet nurse? All these questions and more are trying to be solved. Number 2. Tomb of the Silver Pharaoh In 1940, a French Egyptologist named Pierre Monte was doing some digging around the city of Tanis when he came across a tomb that he didn't expect. He did not expect it because the tomb was for a little-known pharaoh named Susenus I, who ruled Egypt in the 21st dynasty. Yet despite being little known, his tomb was decorated in treasures and trinkets that would rival any pharaoh discovered in history. What's more, the pharaoh was buried in a coffin made of silver. At the time, silver was more precious than gold, which meant that the people who buried him truly wanted to honor him. He was also wearing a detailed gold mask that was recovered from the tomb. In fact, no grave robber had ever found the tomb. Only Monte did. Given the time period in which Susenus reigned, this kind of burial shouldn't have been possible. 
as historians note that the wealth and power of Egyptian rulers around his time, about 3,000 years ago, shouldn't have been what it was. And yet, his tomb says otherwise. Number 1. Third Kingdom in 1902, a series of tombs were discovered by a legendary Egyptologist named Flinders Petrie. But despite finding them, he chose not to examine them himself and thus left them alone for someone else to explore. The prevailing theory is that he didn't think it was worth his time. Fast forward 112 years and some archaeologists decided to take up the charge and do what he didn't. And what they found in these tombs was a king specifically one from a third kingdom of Egypt dating back 3,600 years. His name was King Senebke, and he ruled a central part of Egypt before the unification of the nation. This is significant for numerous reasons. The first is that it was held to be true that only two kingdoms of Egypt were around before the unification. But because of the discovery of King Senebke, that's now been proven wrong. The second fact is that it helps fill in a big hole in history, as the placement of this kingdom was literally between the other two, which means there's a lot more to piece together about the region. Finally, a third kingdom was theorized by many, but no one could ever prove that it was real outside of vague references. But these tombs prove the third kingdom was real, and thus history is rewritten once again. The teams of Egyptologists are still searching the tombs, and the more they find, the more complete the history of the kingdom. Thanks for watching. Which of these did you find the most intriguing or the most curious? Do you know of any other mysterious finds that could have been on this list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.